one of the new features of the Macs with the Apple M1 chip, is the ability to run iOS apps. This short video shows the Parallels Access iPad app, running on the new MacBook Pro with the Apple M1 chip. You install iOS apps on these Macs the same way you install Mac apps on any Mac, from the Apple Mac App Store. Once you have installed the Parallels Access app, you can keep it in the Mac dock just like any other app. When launched, the Parallels Access app gives you the ability to connect to your remote Macs or remote Windows PCs, and use the apps on those remote computers. Let's connect to my MacBook Pro, and launch one of the apps on that remote Mac. Here I have launched Microsoft Word on this remote Mac, and opened a document stored there. Of course the M1 Mac doesn't have a touchscreen, but you can use your mouse as if it were your finger. I can interact with that document, as if it were on the Mac right in front of me. I can zoom in, or scroll, or type, or anything else you can do with a Word document. And, of course, I can open multiple documents in Word. I can even move graphics around in the Word document. While running apps on a remote computer is the primary function of Parallels Access, you can do other things also, like examine the contents of the remote computer. Both remote Macs and remote Windows PCs can be accessed, and their contents examined and modified. Last summer, Parallels Access added the ability to remotely assist a friend, and of course, that feature works when you are using the Parallels Access iPad app on a Mac with the Apple M1 chip. Your friend's computers are listed as other computers. I recently helped my friend, Kayla, on her MacBook Air, but it looks like her MacBook Air is turned off right now. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the Parallels Access iPad app, running on a Mac with the Apple M1 chip. Thanks for watching.